All right, seeing as we've got this delicious savory dressing, what better thing to do than whack it on some vegetables and get myself in the good books with Loz. <laughs> Darling, vegetable salad for dinner. What makes this salad different is these little nuggets of joy. So little baby zucchini flour. You've got the zucchini on there, which is gonna be delicious when it's roasted up, but it's what I'm gonna stuff inside that matters. Let's prepare our dressing. So I want about a heaped spoon of almond butter, pretty fancy. Then I'm gonna get smoked scamosa cheese. So you wanna cut it up about half a centimeter squared, diced, you don't have to be too exact. Get that into our bowl. And now the speck, similar size with the speck. And then we're gonna get a speck into a pan. Oh, Doc's frying pork again, what a shock. Listen, I know I said I was doing a roast vegetable salad. That's what I heard. <laughs> I've got to make it a little bit interesting, mm -hmm. okay? Now, I want to get some sage and just roughly chop it up into a bowl. Keep an eye on your speck. Now, a lemon zest. Squeeze the lemon juice. A little bit of pepper. Back to our punch here. You can see now color-wise, when it gets to this stage, it just releases all of that fat. I love using this speck, the fat from guanciale, from pancetta, from speck, to coat vegetables before I roast them. Believe me, it will make your vegetable salad a joy to eat. Trust me. So, please save the pork fat, all right? Especially something like speck. Okay, into our bowl, and we're gonna mix it around. Now, the residual heat from that speck is just gonna soften up the scamosa cheese a little bit and mix in with that almond butter. It's all gonna to come together in kind of like a paste. So don't be shy with it. Grab one of your flowers, separate the top out until you can see the opening. Stick your finger in and remove the stamen, which is that bit. It's not very tasty. And I'm get a spoon of my mix and just shape it like a cylinder and just gently push it in and then press it down so as it hits the bottom as best you can. Basically, you wanna fill your zucchinis. Then we close the petals over the top and just gently give it a twist like that. Now, ordinarily, I would now be gonna roast these in the oven. I've got some I've already done, but I just wanna show you the importance. That speck fat drizzled on top. Don't tell Loz. I'm right here. So a little bit of salt. And then what you wanna do is just coat them all. And then with these, rather than roast them, almost everybody's oven has got a function where you can turn the grill on at the same time as the oven. Do that, because what you wanna do is color the outside of these just a touch and basically melt the inside so as the cheese is all melty and delicious and goodness. While you've got some caramelization from the speck fat on the outside of the vegetable. See where I'm going here? Yeah. And so now I'm just gonna basically put together a roast vegetable salad. So some eggplants, I had some golden beetroots, I had some zucchinis, asparagus, beans, squash, some beautiful pickling onions, baby capsicums in there as well. In our oven. Vegetables out. Super. Now, I'm gonna just, I wanna show you one of these guys. Look at that stringy goodness that's going on inside. Look at that, Loz. That is a bit of speck. I've yeah, never been so happy eating vegetables. I swear to God. Wow. Let's get our roast vegetables. Everything except our zucchinis, okay? And then very gently, we're gonna toss it with the dressing. So give your dressing a shake, super savory. We'll probably want about 
three tablespoons of dressing in there and just really gently use your hands, just toss it around. Look at that, the flavor, the colors, it just looks absolutely brilliant. So the veggies can still be hot? Yeah, the idea is the vegetables are hot. So when you do hot vegetables in this savory dressing, as the vegetables cool, it sucks up that savory dressing, season them even more, makes them just double delicious. So grab some, let them fall gently out of your fingertips into the bowl. I'm gonna dot one or two of our little zucchini flour bombs in there. We're gonna be one short for the family dinner tonight. Sorry about that. Put that guy there. Put this guy here. How good does that look? Come on. So there it is. Have it as a side hustle, have it as a whole meal. Either way, it's delicious. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.